Good morning, Sam here, Football Heritage TV. Been a very quiet weekend, hasn't it? So obviously Spurs playing at three o'clock on a Saturday, which felt quite strange. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. That was until yesterday afternoon when Aston Villa hosted Man United and Aston Villa had the chance to go back above us into fourth in the table. And they didn't. Had chance after chance after chance, but couldn't quite beat Man United, who are now starting to put a little run of wins together. And Man United are now putting themselves firmly back in that race for the top four. So Tottenham currently occupied a fourth place. And Aston Villa, we'll show you the table. Here we go. Let's have a look at the table. So if we look at the Premier League table there, you'll see that, hang on, let's let's blow that up a little bit. Let's put that there. You'll see there that um, Tottenham on 47, Villa one point behind now on 46 after that defeat yesterday. But Man United are the team that are now starting to come away from the pack below. Remember yesterday we were talking about all of those teams below that were sort of bunched between 33 and 38 points. Now, Man United have, have moved into the 40s and put themselves into sixth place. Two games, uh, a two-game swing to Spurs. Probably, you'd say, a three-game swing because of the goal difference of Spurs is being 15 and... Uh, and, and and Man United being at zero, only scoring 33 goals all season, which is a bit crazy. So it's made it quite interesting. For me, I do think that the gap starting to form now between the top three and the rest. Um, and then there's a gap between the top six and the rest as well. So it's almost like there's two mini leagues there and then almost a third mini league trying to get that seventh spot um, for the Conference League. Now, that could, of course, all change. A couple of wins either way for either team and everything changes. But it makes it all very, very interesting. Um, as the show goes on, please, please, please do smash the like button. That would be absolutely amazing. And please vote in today's poll. Um, in the, the, the question today is where will Spurs finish this season? I think we're at, a, we're at a good marker now to say where we could finish. 24 games of the season gone. 14 to go. Um, the options you have, it's quite simple. The options that you have are first, uh, champions, second or third, fourth or fifth or below. So there are your four options. So please smash that button. At the moment, only 50 people have voted and it overwhelmingly looks like people are talking about fourth place. 14%, I'd love to have whatever this 14% are smoking. 14% think we're going to win the league. Um, and there are 16% that think it's going to be fifth or below. But as it stands, we're in a lovely, lovely position to finish in that top four. So the questions I'm going to be asking today before I see who's in the chat, before we get to some comments. Um, how important is it to you as a fan, as an individual fan? How important is it to you to get Champions League? How important is it? Forget Tottenham. Forget not, oh, Daniel Levy makes loads of money. How important to, to you as a fan is it to get Champions League football? Um, and I encompass a number of different aspects into this conversation. Um, so for years, I was, oh, my God, we've got to get top four. And I want to get top four. And then after the first four or five times of getting top four, the buzz for me ran out because Spurs didn't ever act like a top four club. We never went into those transfer summer transfer windows where we had Champions League football coming up. And we never strengthened like a Champions League team. We still kept buying like we were a Europa League team or a Conference League team or a team without Europe. So I factor that into it. I factor into it that if we are going to be playing this high intensity style of football and we're going to have European football next season, you're going to have to buy a lot more players because these players... Uh, start to look shattered. Um, and I think you've seen some of our players, oh, like Kulu now looks shattered. Benton Court already looks shattered. I know he's come back from a big injury. Um, I think some of the players are starting to lose a little bit of, um, uh, a little bit of the control um, in terms of, I think the passing's getting sloppy and I think that, that, that's down to tiredness. So let me know in the chat and we'll come to that in a minute. I'm going to say hello and see who's in the chat, but we'll come to that in a minute. Just keen to get everybody's perspective on, what Champions League means to you as a football fan, not what it means financially to Daniel Levy and the owners. Um, so let me know in the chat and we'll come to that in a minute. Um, who have we got in the chat today? We've got Billy Andrews who said, Morning, Sava. Big shout out to Papa Sar, who has been brilliant this season. We look so much better with him in the team. 
Um, listen, listen. I think I think he's a good player. Is Papa Sar? He's a good player. Still learning. Um, still uh, things in his game he needs to sharpen up. Still young. Still young. So yeah, I think he, we do look better with him in the team. And I would have him in the team, as I said yesterday. I would have him, Basuma, and Madison would be my middle three. Uh, but big up to you, Billy Andrews. Hope you're well. Skur, I said, morning, brother. I'm super glad we scraped it through. Last season, we could have lost that game. But yet, I do feel like we are missing someone to control a game. I really do feel Basuma has to start versus Wolves. Yeah, listen, I completely agree with you. I, I, I still think that to win league titles, to win trophies, I do think that most teams need that guy in the middle that just controls things. I don't know if we've got it. And by me saying I don't know if we've got it, I don't think we've got it. I think we've got some nice midfielders. I, I don't think we've got anyone that controls a game. You know, someone that puts their foot on the ball and you go, that's our guy. That that guy runs the game for Spurs. I don't see it. I think we see patches of Saar doing a lot, patches of Bentoncourt doing a lot, patches of... Uh, Basuma doing a lot, but we don't ever see, uh, for me, a consistent 90 minutes where you go, wow, he ran that game from start to finish. Uh, that's just me. Um, good morning to get that fraud Arteta out of my club. You must be buzzing. Um, I mean, I, I thought Arsenal, I predicted Arsenal to win 3-1 at West Ham, but 6-0, uh, it's, a, it's a huge win for your boys. Keeps you right up there. It really, really does keep you up there. Um and pulls you away from Spurs and Villa just a little bit. So let me know how you're feeling about that. Uh, Rekka v Men on us are definitely winning the league. Um, good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. There is the link, by the way, as you all know by now, there is the link. If you haven't subscribed already, please do as we work our way towards 13,200. Uh, big up to Mario in the chat. Hello, brother. Hope you're well. Said hi, Sava, and all the chatters in the chat. Smash up that like button, folks. Big up to you. Rhythmic Renegade. Good afternoon, Sava. I think we can end up fourth, just as Levy ordered. We'll come to that in a bit because, yeah, it's it's another one of those ones, isn't it, where I think the reason why I don't go overboard about finishing fourth is we've seen it a lot. Um, it's nothing new. We've seen it a lot. Um, for me, fourth place should be a springboard, right? I don't know if anyone agrees with me on that. Fourth place should be a springboard that, that clubs use to go, OK, that's better than where we were. Now, how do we go boom, kick on? But we haven't in the last two decades, used it as that springboard. So can we this time, if we get it, if we get it. Uh, by the way, um, smash the like button, people. There's 158 of you in it and 36 likes. That's got to be the worst conversion rate I've seen for a long, long time. So let's smash that and get that to 100 ASAP. Uh, video complete. Sofian said, morning, Sava. Good morning to you, my friend. I'd rather play Pedro Porro right wing over Kulu and Johnson. But I know Andrew will never do that. Listen, I, I, something's got to be done on that right-hand side. For me, it's too predictable. Whichever one of them plays there, they're both very predictable footballers in what they do. So, yes, I, I do agree with you. I would rather see that. We're not going to, I don't think, but we'll see. We'll see. Good morning, Philly. How you doing, bro? So, good morning to my brother from another mother, Sava, and everyone in the magnificent chat. Big up, Philly. How you doing, bro? I hope you're well. Uh, hello to Sean, who's out there in Bangkok. Um... Yes, King E63. Yes, I did get Wolves on the screen. I mean, I managed to go all the way down to get Brentford in at 14th. Um, Philly, I said Chelsea are also coming. Um, I think I think the thing is with Chelsea, even if Chelsea win tonight, um, if Chelsea win tonight, they'll still be 13 points behind us. That's a five-game swing. I can't see it, Phil, Philly. I can't see it, mate. I don't think they've got enough. We'd have to... Let's say from 14 games, if we won eight of them, just say we only won eight. I'm not saying we will, but if we only won eight, uh, Chelsea would have to win 13 of their last 14 to catch us. So I just can't see it, but um, we'll see. Listen, they play tonight. Um, good morning to Joe's in the chat as well. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Video complete, Sofian. Yes, congratulations, by the way, to uh, the Ivory Coast for winning the African Cup of Nations. Um yeah, Ivory Coast is on the brink of going out and then won the tournament. Listen, tournament football throws some wonderful, wonderful um, situations at us all, doesn't it? Um, Stanley Kush has said, we just need to focus on us and keep digging out wins, however ugly they may be. We do, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to say it. I know no one else said it. This weekend, what I think we really need to see is, I think we need to go back to a game where we actually um, control a game. You know, um, 
and and stop this kind of giving the ball away every five seconds and having attacks coming at us. That's what I'd like to see this weekend. Uh, good uh, morning to Sean Pierce, who said even Serge Aurier is winning trophies. Everyone wins trophies when they leave Spurs, other than Harry Kane, it seems. Poor Harry Kane. <laughs> What do you all make of that? Harry Kane leaving to go buy Munich and they're five points behind Bayer Leverkusen, who are such a good football team, by the way. If anyone watches Bayer Leverkusen, I wish we played football like Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, D&B forever. Good morning, Sava. Good morning to you. Man United have mo mostly favourable fixtures coming up as well. Will a battle for top four? April will be de decisive as it's an awful run for us. Yeah, look, Man, U Man United are there. They've put themselves back in contention with three wins in a row, haven't they? Um, and look, I'll tell you the interesting thing. So if we if we bring this back up, look, so if you look at the lead table, at the end of the lead table, it shows you their form. Um, not just Man U's, everyone. So as you can see there, Liverpool, just the one defeat in five. City are the most informed team with five wins on the bounce. Arsenal have now put four back to back. Spurs, uh, again, no defeats, but win, draw, win, draw, win. We need to make sure the next one is a win so we get out of that pattern. But if you look at Man United, if you look at Man United, so now win, win, win. Um, let's have a look who Man United have got uh, coming up. So Man United's fixtures. Um, here we go. So Man United have got um, Luton away, then Fulham at home, and then Man City. So, listen, I don't know. Luton away is not an easy game for anyone. Um the looting away is not an easy game for anyone. Uh, you would think they'd probably beat Fulham at home, but then Man City away. I can't see them getting anything there. So it's going to be a big ask for Man U, um, but they're still there. And I guess the, I, I guess the whole kind of does fifth get you Champions League or not changes um, changes the narrative a little bit, doesn't it? Changes the narrative a little bit. Um, uh, video complete. Sofia said we're not going to win the league this season. Maybe next season if we do some good business. Listen, I, I, everyone knows my feelings. If Spurs are going to win a league title, it, 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 I don't think it's going to be in the next couple of years. I think to, to build a squad to compete with the other two, and I buy that, I'm putting in Man City and and and, um, and Liverpool. I think you've got to do a lot of good business. Uh, I feel like my internet just completely, completely dropped. But let me, let me, can somebody do me a favor? Can you just say yes in the chat if you can hear me? Can you just type in the word yes? Um, my computer just completely went black. My skybox went off. It's telling me I'm live again, but I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. You can hear me. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I just, I went off screen. So I don't know what happened there. Um, so for me, I think it's going to take a monumental amount of business to win a league title. Um, Free for all said, who's the bigger threat now for full? It's still got to be Villa. Um, it's still got to be Villa, hasn't it? When you look at it, they're only a point behind um, and they've got a better goal difference than us. Whereas Man United are five points behind, sorry, six points behind with a worse goal difference. So it's almost one point to seven points. So at this stage, I would say it's definitely Villa. But listen, who, who knows? Who knows? Uh uh, Paul would have said, personally, I think we need the Champions League football as we need to attract top players, not average players. I mean, yeah, listen, I agree. Will we do it, Paul? That's that's my, my only concern is will we attract those top? Will we actually go and bid for them? Will we try and buy them? Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, Stanley Kusher said, I'd like top four, but I'd happily take Europa. Not keen on the conference, though. Well, let me know, people. Well, uh, would you take the conference? I don't think we're going to. I don't think we'll be that low down, but um, I, I definitely think it's looking like Europa or Champions League. Uh, good morning to Tony, who said, good evening, Sam from Oz. Fourth place will be a dogfight between Spurs, Villa and now Man United. Our best midfield is Madison, Saar and Basuma. I agree with you. Um, I, I definitely agree with you. I think for me, I think that Benton Corp being out injured made people think he was probably, for me, a little bit better than he was. Very good footballer, but I think a lot of people were referring to him as though he was like Rodri uh, or someone like that. And, hey, um, for me, I think, that, as you said here, this is our best midfield three. Uh, by the way, come on, people, 58 likes. There's 208 of you in here. Come on, that's just over a quarter of you. Smash that like button immediately. I'm not asking for your money. I'll never ask for your money. But subscribing is free. Liking is free. So please do smash the like button and please do subscribe as we head towards 13.2K 
The link is pinned in the chat. Um, uh, on the poll, we've now got 122 votes. Uh, still 10% of that 122 think we are going to be champions. Uh, second or third place, 8%. 63% have said fourth. And 19% think fifth or below. So overwhelmingly, uh, we're looking at fourth um, below uh, in terms of the votes. Um, some very positive people voting for champions, so which is interesting. Um, Brian has said, Saar gives us balance. He does. He's a good player. He's a good player that we just still need to nurture. Um, big up, Bill. How you doing, bro? I said, I want the club to reflect the club signings to the prices they charge. Then again, fans who go in the stadium accept our club as it is. My personal ambition for Spurs is to compete for trophies. Uh, listen, I, I, I agree with you. I think for what they charge, they should be buying better caliber players. But listen, will they do it? Let, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Um uh, Danny, you said, morning. Hope all is good. Big up, Dan. Hope you're well, my friend. Please get over there and subscribe to the Hot Spur Hood, people. I uh, said, so we need to, we need fourth to make serious summer transfers. If we if we decide to, is a different story. Agreed, man. Agreed. I need some serious consistency to do it. Looking sloppy on the pitch. Agreed to all of that. Agreed. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. And big up to you, mate. Uh, Red Devil TV, I said, big up, Sav. Hope you're well, mate. Spurs and us done a, done a late winner over good teams. Great weekend for me. Done a double over Villa. Douglas Louis, shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, take that L. Big up to Red Devil TV. Yeah, your, your team, uh, could you say, coming at the right time with some form? Look, I'm, I'm a firm believer. And this is why when at the beginning of the season I see people going, oh, you know, Man City are rubbish. They're not as good as they were. Liverpool this and Arsenal that. I always think to myself, the good teams know when to hit the right runs. And that's what you're starting to see now. You're starting to see that, especially when you look at City. Um, it looks a bit imperious for the rest of the, the league, doesn't it? That they're just winning game after game after game at the moment. Uh, big up to whoever just subscribed. Very, very, very grateful for that. So please, anyone else that would like to, please do. Still only 73 likes. Smash that like button, people. Come on, let's get some positivity inside the place. Um, Stanley Kush, the Champions League is great, although Levy needs to spend enough to win it not just use it as a status symbol. I mean, I think to go from entering it to winning it in one year is a is a big leap, Stanley Kush, but I do hear you. Um, Skur, I said, yeah, Bis is a, Bissouma is a good player, but isn't your number six. Um, look, I, I, th I think we still need a, a top DM, if I'm brutally honest. I really, really do think we need a top DM. Video complete, Sofiane says, uh, David Moyes should be sacked. Um, I mean, look, they're not in good form. West Ham, but they are goal difference away from qualifying from Europe again. They won a European trophy last year. They're still in the Europa League. Should he be sacked? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I feel that would be a bit harsh on a manager that I think's done really, really well. Um, good morning to Blaine Dev. How you doing, bro? Hope you are well. Hope you've had a good weekend, mate. Good morning to you. Good morning to Brandon as well. So morning, Sava. I think we should sign Nico Williams. Yeah, I'd take I'd, I'd take Nico Williams. Good player. So, sort of winger we need for me. Um, get a fraud I'll set her out my club. So the good performance by the boys. I'm not getting carried away. Just have to keep on going. Hopefully we can get it over for once in over 20 years. Um, let's have a look. Arsenal's fixtures coming up. You've got uh, Burnley away followed by Newcastle at home and Sheffield United away. Some winnable games there for you, boys. Some winnable games for Arsenal. Who Are, are you coming with a run at the right time? You didn't You didn't last year, but it looks like you could be this year. Who knows? Who knows? Terry said, morning, Sava. Champions League means good experience for this young squad. More games needs a bigger squad with more depth. Bang on. More game time for our second-tier players. Listen, you, you, you've, you've got to... If you get into the Champions League, you've got to have a squad fully adept. Yeah, you've got to have a squad where the drop off from the first for the player in the first team to the second team isn't as big. You, we really have got to do that. Um, um, I think Spurs will finish fourth, said Red Devil TV. We, and that's a big if, can keep up collecting points and Villa to drop off can catch fifth, but that's a big if. Don't think we can catch Spurs though. Listen, it's 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 almost like a free game swing for you to catch Spurs. It's not impossible, but. Um, you know, I think you've got Man City coming up as well. What do you think is going to happen at the Etihad versus Man City? Let me know. I can't see them. 
I can't see them losing a game at the moment. Uh, Philly, 2-109. Big up, brother. I said, third loser is a stepping stone. No more, no less. It's shameful. Spurs use it as the plateau. Look, for, for me, let's get there. Um, at, let's get there. And then he's got to kick on. And that's what we've not seen from Levy ever before. It's the kicking on for me. Um, good morning, Kate. Hope you are well too. Hope you're well. Good morning to you. Good mo morning, Rooksy Pop out there in New Zealand, I believe. Good morning to you. Or well, good evening. Um, Arsenal winner, I think. They're looking mad scary. Do you think, they're, do you think they look better than Man City though? I just, I just can't see that they're going to finish above City. Um, 76, Mad Matt. I said Chelsea's game been moved, I think. Oh, the Chelsea game's been moved. Yes, I'm pretty sure it has. I'm pretty sure. Um, Lado said, morning, Savo, my bro. 2-1, good result. Performance wasn't on par. How many points do you think we claim out of the next five games? Tell you one thing. No game is easy. Big up, Football Heritage TV. Uh, big up to you as well. Uh, let's have a look at our next five games then, shall we? Um, uh, here we go. Let's bring that up, shall we? Thank you for that talking point. Let's share the screen. Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, where are we? Okay, so we have Wolves. Uh, we have Wolves at White Hart Lane. I'd be very disappointed if we don't win that one. We've then got Palace at White Hart Lane. I'd be disappointed if we don't win that. Villa away at the moment. They're not winning at home, so who knows? Then Fulham away, then Lewin at home. We've got, some, we've got a lot of winnable games there. We've got a lot of winnable games. I think we'll get 10 to 12 points. Realistically, if we're, if we're a good team, uh, if we're as good as people think we are, we should be getting 10 to 12 points. The problem is football isn't played on paper, is it? Um, I'm trying to get to uh, as many comments as possible, by the way. Uh, but there are quite a lot in there at the moment. There's a lot of people in here um, and only 84 likes, which is really disappointing. And we haven't had a single... We've had one subscriber all morning. Smash that subscribe button, people. The link is pinned in the chat. So please do subscribe. Um, I'm not going to be able to get to everyone, but the big D, big up to you. How are you doing, my friend? To really believe we need a good six, like a Paulinho from Fulham. We can't seem to control games. I'm watching from my fingers towards the end. Of I, I agree. I, I definitely agree. We need some control in that in that in that midfield area. Um, I think everyone again at the beginning of the season went a little bit overboard about we've got the best midfield in the league and blah blah blah, best defense. I think we need we need some control back in games. Thomas said, Morning Sava, another sloppy performance, but another win. Amen. We move on. We'd like to see this come weekend having the team we used at the start of the season. I agree. I completely agree with you. Um uh, uh, Sally Kush said, yeah, oh, there we go. Yes, mate, Saturday was agonising, but Brighton's style is very much similar to us. It's as if we cancelled each other out. True, but I did feel that they just, you know, I, I felt like they started to control the game in large spells. And that's what we've got to be doing, especially at home. Uh, for me, it's just slowing it down a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I thought Labour Kusen are excellent. Whenever I watch them, they are excellent. They are excellent. Um, Philly, I said, don't worry about Arsenal. When it comes to April and May, they will bottle it, as they always do. Arteta masterclass in how to choke. Well, I'll, I'll be honest, I'd love to see that. But um, at the end of the day, they're winning games. Uh, they're winning games. Um, y yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I just don't see it. I don't see they're going to have enough to get over the line. Um, look, for me... Man City, when they win their game in hand, the table will be Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal. And that's exactly what I predicted at the beginning of the season. So I'm not moving from that. I still think it will be Man City from Liverpool, from Arsenal. Um, Stanley Kush, absolutely. Our game with Villa will be huge in terms of fourth. Absolutely. Listen, we've got a lot of winnable games coming up. A lot of winnable games. Um, so Roots Pop said they outplayed Liverpool and West Ham by a mile, which lots of people said they'd lose both. I, th I think if anyone said they'd lose both, I thought they'd lose to uh, Liverpool. I didn't think they'd lose to West Ham. I just don't think West Ham are good enough. But listen, I hear your point, man. I hear your point. Um, KM Hong said having six points over Man United feels like a safe bumper. They would have to do two wins and one draw to better us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it's a nice bumper to have, to, which is why... Saturday, that goal was so important in the last minute. That goal was so, so important in the last minute, wasn't it? Because otherwise, we'd now be sitting there saying, oh, it's a it's a four-point bumper. 
you know, and now all of a sudden you're like, oh, hang on, that's only one win and a draw. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Video Complete thinks that the Conference League is a big opportunity for us to win a trophy. It's going to be easy. See, it's when people talk like that, why would it be easy for us? We haven't won a European competition since the 80s. So why would it suddenly be easy for us to just rock up and win a European? No, I think I think this is where we get carried away. This is where we get carried away. Um, listen, we should be going into tournaments like that and winning them, trying to win them at least. But hey, you know, um, we'll see. By the way, uh, completely non-Spurs related, Rasmus Hoyland, by the way, I think he deserves a little bit of credit. He's on the screen now. Games since Christmas, played seven, scored six. The young lad looks like he's now starting to um, starting to score some goals for Man United. And never a truer comment. Nobody is Rodri. Best player in the league for me. Um, Rooksy Popper said, um, do you believe Tottenham will win trophies with Big Ange? I just don't know. For me, it's not about Big Ange. It's about what do we do? I've always said this. It could be Jose. It could be Conte. It could be Nuno, Poch, Ange. For me, if you buy top players, you'll win trophies. It's that simple. I don't know who agrees with me. I think it's that simple. Um, Oliver said, imagine beating City and drawing and beating Paul, but still be doubted about your credentials. Um, I, listen, I think they're going to be right up there. I just don't think they've got enough to beat Man City, is, is what it is. Um, listen, if, if Arsenal go on and win the league, fair play to them. Arsenal still have to go to Man City. Um uh, we'll see. I just I just don't think they're um, as good as Man City. I really, really don't. Uh, big up, you know, 67. How you doing, bro? Hope you're well. And big up to 7SC. How you doing? So big up, Sava. Big up to you as well. I'm trying to get to um, Yummy Reincarnated. Oh, good. Lucky our Spurs. Yes. Lucky our Spurs. Lucky us. Um, uh, Truth. Set you free. Free has said Spurs were not that, not good. They were not bad. What they got was for different. I completely agree with you. I just think it was a kind of middle of the road performance from uh, from Spurs during that game. Um, Philly has said so far a so called clever businessman has forgotten business one hundred and one. In business, you need to speculate to accumulate. Absolutely, uh, Daniel. Not long ago, you were telling me that Aston Villa were going to win the league. What happened, my man? What happened? It's tough up there, right? It's all well and good being third, fourth, fifth. Competing with the big boys is a completely different story. Um, at the start of the season, we were all hoping to scrape Conference League. If we get Champions League, it'll be a massive achievement for this squad of players, considering the state was in last year. Completely, completely agree with you, Paul Connor. Completely agree with you. If we finish top four, I think it's been a magnificent achievement. Even if you get Europa League football, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, magnificent achievement. And look, what we've done is put ourselves in a position with 14 games to go where it's in our hands. It's in our hands with 14 games to go um, and some very winnable games coming up. Um, um, Stanley Kush has said we need to go and uh, buy Jimenez, 45 million. I know West Ham are in for him too. I'd like a Jimenez. Um, and Red Devil TV has said, yeah, pay your rents, you absolute frauds. Uh, yeah, there are just under 300 people in here and only 104 likes, which is really depressing, which tells me that a lot of people are not enjoying the content. So please, if you do enjoy the content, uh, uh, everyone knows my content now. I try and get to the, every comment, as, as many as I can, good, bad or ugly. We'll talk about them and then we move on. Uh, good morning to Rights Wildlife. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, yeah, top four in Angie's first season is very, very good. Yeah, it, if we can get that, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Set all season. European football is a minimum. Top four be an amazing, amazing season. Um, Brinketic, he wants to spend big on Locatelli. I like Locatelli. Good footballer. I'd take him as well. Uh, very, very good player. Um, Levy out. I said we need a six, a right back, two wingers, a midfielder and a backup goalkeeper. Um I would say, yeah, is it six? Yes. And I've right back, yes. Two wingers, yes. Midfielder, backup goalkeeper. I also think we need another forward as well. I think, yeah, when you look at it like that, uh, we need a lot of players. We do. We, you need, I, I think when people get carried away, I think they don't see the difference between fighting for a fourth and fighting for a title. If you're going to fight for a title, you need a lot of good players. You can't, you, you don't fight for titles with players like Emerson Royale and Brian Hill, and Ben Davis. 
You know, you don't fight for a title with Oli Skips and Hoy Bears and, you, you know, you've got to have better coming off the bench. Um, CB, big up to you. So what would you do here? Spurs are due to finish fifth and need Arsenal to win their Champions League final to raise the coefficient and claim a fifth Premier League Champions League spot. Would you cheer Arsenal? No, 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 no. Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Just to get champ, we've we've had. I think people are making out like we've never had Champions League football before. Um, I, you know, I, I, no, not no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no, 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 no. Um, absolutely, John Bird saying it. Come on, people, put your thumb on that like button. Uh, it's really simple to do. I never ask for money. I never ask for people to become members. They're just nice to haves. But what I do ask is please smash the like and subscribe. Um. And 7SC has put in a, a generous super chat and said, smash the F in like buttons, lads. Big up, Sava. Big up to you, 7SC. Thank you so much for that. Always appreciate your generosity. And I'm going to ask, okay, let's let's get a couple of subscribers, shall we? The link, I'm putting it in the chat right now. Let's let's just get a couple more. We've only had two today. Let's get four or five more, shall we? Um, uh, where was I? Sorry. So many, so many, so many comments. Um, CB has said City having those two games against Arsenal late last season really rocked Arsenal. Look, I think that was a, a huge moment last year when Man City um, hosted Arsenal and lots of Arsenal fans were saying, oh, we'll go there. We'll play them off the park. And Man City put on a bit of a masterclass, didn't they? And, and beat them. Was it 4-1 or 4-0 or whatever it was? Um and City are getting stronger and stronger. So, uh, listen, I just can't see them winning it. But Arsenal are a good team. Said it all season. They're a good team. I think they're a better team than Tottenham. Sorry, everyone. I think they're a better team than Tottenham. And that should be who we're trying to catch before we talk about winning titles. Um, Ryan has said, our run in April may well be what stops us getting top four. We lack a natural six to help protect our defence. And it shows. I suppose it all depends on what Villa do in the next four or five games as well. If we can, if we can get to April with a big enough gap, who knows? We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm just going to have a look at Aston Villa's games coming up. Uh, and they've not been in good form, have they? Aston Villa have got Fulham away, followed by Forrest at home, Lute, uh, Luton away, and then Tottenham at home, West Ham away. So look, it, it's all too early to, it's all too early to tell at the moment, but Hey, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next four, five, six games. And, see where we are with a 10-game running. All I know is at the moment is when you look at the gap to Liverpool is seven points. Uh, again, it's a three-game swing. It's what we were talking about of Man United to us. It's a three-game swing. Uh, Liverpool have lost two of 24. We'd now be saying that we need them to lose three and we don't lose any between the end of the season. I just I just can't see it at all. Uh, but big up to you, Ryan. I agree with you. Bill, how you doing, bro? Has said, we'll never control games playing this style. The, the you ever go, will ever go tactics are great, but we'll only get you so far. The manager has said we will concede goals playing this well. Madness. I, I agree. I think this is something that people do not take I think this is something that people do not take into account. That you go, we go is brilliant to watch. It's fun. It's end to end. I don't see teams winning league titles playing you go, we go. I completely agree with you, Bill. Completely agree with you. Um, um, Video Complete said, if West Ham won the Conference League, why can't we? Video Complete, not what I said. I said we can win it, but you said it will be easy. I, th I don't think you'll find anything West Ham did last year was easy to win the league. It's a tough competition to win. It's the choice of words. Um, Stanny Kush, so for his price tag, it's about time he started scoring. It took him a while. Yeah, listen, only, what is he, 20? You know, um, but listen, he is scoring now, Hoyland. Um, fair play to him. Um, Philly has said, let's keep the game, sh let's keep the game show theme going, Phil P. Regarding the Spurs on Saturday, the survey says, oh gosh. Um, big up to Lee, Enigma. How you doing, mate? Hope you're well. Um, uh, Abs abs absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Any tradesman is only as good as the tools supplied. This is why whenever people ask me this, Lee, I, I get asked this every day on here. Will and win you trophies. And I, I, my, my answer will never change, Lee. My answer will always be if he's given the tools the same way that it was with Poch, with Conte, with Joe. Managers win trophies when they're given the tools to win trophies. It's very rare they'll win them with subpar players so for me can he sure will he we'll see what we'll see how he's backed right um uh da, 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 da. adam phillips said we also beat liverpool and drew a city yes we did 
We did indeed. Um, get the full out of my club. So, Sav, what do you think of a midfield of Rice, Zubamendi and Odegaard? Very good. Very good. I really rate Declan Rice. I think he's a really good footballer. Um, Odegaard, for me, needs to find more consistency. But the last few games I've watched him, he looks a lot better. And... And Zubamendi is a player that, as you know, you've heard me talk about on here. I would like him at Tottenham. So, yeah, I think that's a very good midfield. And you've got players that can control the game. You've got Rice and Zubamendi in there that can get their foot on the ball, slow it down, speed it up. Yeah. Um, um, Daniel said, Emery's tactics being found out a little. I don't doubt the quality of the squad. But for me, we need to tweak the system and accommodate more attacking players. The one thing that I always don't understand about what he's doing um, is, 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 is I feel like he, he wants to accommodate four central midfielders in there rather than two wingers and Watkins. Do, do you know what I mean? I don't know if that's what you were alluding to. That's something I've never understood. But hey, listen, listen, who am I to, 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 to judge? Um, by the way, big up everyone. 130 likes. There's over 300 of you in here. Smash that like button, people. And thank you to the third generous person today who did just become a channel member. Um, I am trying to get to as many comments as possible. So please bear with me. Please bear with me. Uh, bu, 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 big up Phil P inside the house said, hit up the likes. Absolutely big up to you, Phil. Uh, John G said, hey, Sever, I think we'll finish fourth in, sorry, I think we'll finish in fourth spot. But I must say, man, you have played pretty ordinary and are only six points behind us. I don't think they're very good, but a couple of results here and there. Look, John, I, listen, I, I think what we've got over them is it's a six-point gap, but with a, a superior goal difference, which makes it a seven-point gap. I do agree with you, though. I, I don't I don't think, I've said it all season, I don't think the league is that strong. I think when you look at how poorly we've played recently and how poorly Man U have played and Villa, um, and those three teams are full fifth and sixth. So, look, what's it say about the teams below us? Um by the way, let me know in the chat if anyone would like me to do a watch along tonight for Palace v Chelsea. We don't have to. If anyone is interested, stick a, 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 stick a note in the chat just to say yes or no. They're always quite chilled out, um, chilled out shows because it's not Spurs and no one really cares. So it's all, always a bit chilled out. But let me know if you would like me to do a Chelsea uh, away at Crystal Palace watch along. Brett has said, morning, Sava. Do we think Kane's jinxed breaking records everywhere but can't win a trophy? Listen, it's mad, isn't it? It's absolutely madness. Uh, he goes to one of the biggest clubs in world football. Listen, Bayern Munich could still win it, but, I mean, Leverkusen haven't lost a game of football all season. Um, their football is very good to watch. Their scouting and signings have been absolutely phenomenal for them. So, look, poor Kane, poor Kane. Um Paul said, do you think Spurs can affect the title race as we have to play Man City, Liverpool and Arsenal? I'm not saying we're going to win the league, but we could affect the outcome. Yeah, definitely. Of course. I think anyone that's got to play all of those teams can affect it. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we'll be anywhere near winning it, as I've said. But look, listen, if we play all three of those teams and lose to all three of them, we don't really affect it. If we play and win a couple of those games, who knows? But Listen, going to be three tough games against the, the best three teams in the country. Um, uh, bu, 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 bu. Skur has said, we need killers up front. Can't remember when we last bought a forward that had us all excited and talking about them. I completely agree with you, my friend. I completely agree. And here he is. Here he is, Barry. Big up, Nick. How you doing, man? Uh, what a great thumbnail. What thumbnail? Oh, is it? Um, is it my Monday... With uh, Emerson Royale all over it. <laughs> just for you, mate. Just for you. Um, get the forward. I'll set her up my club. I said, Savage, do you think Andrew's high line would work in the Champions League uh, next season? And as always, leave you in. I think the high line can work depending on the quality of players you've got playing it. For me, it's about the control in the midfield. Yeah. As I've said, you watch Man City, you play a very high line. They have so much of the football, they pass you to death that the high line, you don't notice as much. When we play a high line, because we play 100 miles per hour, as soon as we lose it, the gaps in behind us are massive. So I think for me, we've got to, we, we have to tweak it, but that's what getting better midfielders will do. Um, for me as well, I think it's all right playing the high line, but I think Poro and Adogi have to stop giving the ball away when they're dribbling out from our defence. 
um, that puts unnecessary pressure back onto our back line. Uh, big up, people. 138 likes. Let's get that to 200 as quick as possible. There's 295 of you in here. So big up to each and every one of you. And I am trying. I promise I am trying to get to as many comments as possible. But there are quite a lot. Um, so please don't be like the guy the other day that messaged me saying, I'm going to unsubscribe. You don't read out comments. And I was like, are you kidding me? I read out... <laughs> I'll read out nearly every comment I can get. Uh, where are we? Good morning to Lynn Simpson. How are you doing, Lynn? I said, good morning, Sava. In most cases, I would agree with you. However, did you think that Arsenal would be on exactly the same goals as Man City? It's a long week in football. Um, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not talking about how many goals they score. I'm talking about how many points they get. Listen, um, if Arsenal win the league, I take my hat off to them. I just don't think they will. I've said this all season. Enough. I've not seen anything to change my mind. Um, I still think Man City will win it. Um, I'm not. I'm not knocking Arsenal. They're a good team. Arsenal are a good team. Um, I just don't think they're a better team than Man City for me. Um, where are we? Uh, video complete. I said we need a centre forward, two wingers, an attacking mid, a number six, a centre back, a left back, and a backup goalkeeper. That's eight players. Listen, we're still building the squad. We've got to got to keep building. But it's got to be, it's got to be um, quality. We've got to bring quality through the door, not just quantity. Uh, big up to D and B forever. Thank you very much for the generous super sticker, my friend. Really, really do appreciate you. Thank you very much. Always generous when people put in super chats. So thank you very much for that. Really do appreciate it. Um, rights Wildlife, let's let's get Sava past 200 likes ASAP and sub. Sava, how many subs are you from 13.2? Oh, we're, we're about 80 subs from 13.2. So we're quite far off that. Um, Aditya said, Sava, stop downplaying our win. I don't, I'm pretty sure we haven't really talked about our win, have we? Um, I don't know. Uh, if, if ever anyone wanted to know how you can spot a troll, it's when someone comes in and says, I've said something that I haven't even said. So uh, big up everybody. Do what you know what you can do to Aditya. Uh, because you know he's a troll. He's got on say, aren't you the one who said last season, I just want to see us play good football. Now you're complaining when we're the most... In I, 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 sorry, are we the most entertaining team in the league? In, in what reality are we the most entertaining team in the league? I don't think we have been playing good football. What are you talking about? Um, sorry, what? Um, what are you talking about? Um... And you say Arsenal are a very defensive team. We are not. Um, I mean, this is an Arsenal team that scored more than us and letting less. I don't think they're a defensive team. I just think they're defensively solid. There's a huge difference, video complete. Whereas we are neither. Um, I, I, I love it. When people come in and start saying things that I just have not said, it's so bad. Not you, but it's baffling. Um this team will not win anything with Richie as a number nine and Johnson on the wing. They'll provide moments of brilliance, but the consistency to perform at high level isn't there. New striker is a must. Can't agree with that more. Can't agree with that more. Absolutely spot on. Some of these players that get praised will do good moments. They will have good moments. But, you know, consistency um, is everything. Why would Ange change? Everything he does is brilliant. Well, I mean, we don't look great at the moment. Cam, do we? So uh, I don't know what you're... Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I don't know what this means. Uh, KM Hong has said, it's no coincidence that Villa's form has fallen since Longley has to start every game and Diaby has not been playing. I don't... Yeah, I don't understand it. When I see him playing three centre mids and I see um, Diaby on the bench and I'm thinking to myself, what are you doing? But um, John, completely agree. I would love Leon Bailey at Spurs. Uh, I, I, yes, he runs at people. He runs at people. Uh, absolutely, he really, really does. Uh, Skur has said, Sava, uh, do you think we will prior to prioritise a winger in the summer? Because I see everyone wants decent wingers. Chelsea, Liverpool, City. I think we've got to. I just don't think we're good enough out wide. I don't think we scare teams enough from, from out wide. It's only my opinion. I just, I just feel like we've... We've signed four, five, six wingers in the last few years and none of them are very good. Um, I think some people are asking for the watch along. I think that's what people are asking for, a watch along for tonight. Um, OK, let's do a watch along on my bet. OK, I can do a watch along tonight. That's no problem at all. Um, Sava, would you do a watch along for the Champions League? Which game? Uh, what, our games, if we're in it? Or 
yes, I can do what, yes, we can do watch along. This is not a problem. Not a problem. Um, uh, to, 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 yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. But, um, yeah, Sava Granite Xhaka could beat Harry Kane to a title. Yeah, he's, he's done well there. Whenever I watch them, he does well there, does old Granite Xhaka. He really does. Um, Terry, I said we gave up the ball too easy, too often. Vicario's passing out was awful. Need to control possession. I don't disagree with any of that at all, Terry. I completely agree. Um, I thought Vicario had one of his poorer games at the weekend in terms of distribution. Uh, he made a couple of good saves, which you would expect from a goalkeeper. But... Um, his distribution wasn't very good at all. Um, Philly, I said, we should never struggle with Wolves due to the size of our club and theirs. I'm not impressed with Mary Poppins up front and Chicken Royale in the squad. <laughs> oh, Philly, 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 Philly. Um, Paul O'Connor, big up to you. Paul O'Connor? Paul Connor, sorry. Big up to you, Paul. Said, so, Sava, do you think with Barcelona and Chelsea FFP problems, we will see some major stars moving? And who do you think we should sign from those teams, if anybody? Um, yeah, look, I, I guess it, it, it comes back to this whole thing that we had in January, doesn't it? Of, well, look, if, if a lot of these teams are having problems with their FFP, how do we how do we capitalise on that? Um, look, I, I think the difference is you can say a club's in trouble with FFP, but they'll still be the ones that decide which players they let go rather than the players that we would want to buy. But for sure, there's players at both Barcelona and Chelsea that I would take in a heartbeat. There's many, many players I would take from both of those clubs in a heartbeat. Um, I, I, I haven't played FPL since game one. I've not changed my 11. I've, I've no idea what it looks like at all. Um, Stanley Kush said we need a backup keeper in the summer. No way can we have four-star deputising next season in Europe. Completely agree with you. Completely agree. Uh, BB4T has said, should we keep Serge Regulon? Um, not for me. Not for me. He's never done it here. I think he needs to go. I think that's where you should be making some money. Definitely. Um, it's row. I said, we still have Davis, Hoiberg, Skip, Royal, Cess, Reggie and Undombele. Uh, yeah, listen, absolutely. What you've got to do, though, as you've said in the second half of that comment, when they go out, the players that are coming in, it can't be more average players. We've got to start. Um, 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 we've got to start um, upping the overall level of the squad, not just the first team. Um, you don't think Liverpool win the title, Sava? No, I think everyone knows that I've, I've said from day one: City, Liverpool, Arsenal. That's my top three. I've not changed it since day one. Um, Alex has said, "Pretty sure Arsenal or Liverpool are the most entertaining in the league." Uh, it's definitely not Spurs. I know that much. Uh, Vibrant Copper. I said De Jong or Kimmich. Sorry, let me just go back to this. Alex, I think when people say we're the most entertaining in the league, I think they're getting confused with end-to-end. -end, um, I think they're getting confused with end-to-end -end frantic, the ball being given away all the time with controlling a game and being good to watch. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Uh Jeff, he did get to me. I just find it funny that this guy thinks he can come in here. This guy comes in here, says something that you all have seen that I didn't say. So I think it's quite funny. Uh, uh, where are we? I'm just trying to catch up here. Uh, would you agree with Ange that Son is that no, not anywhere near the best player in the Premier League? No. Um, I think Ange has got to say that as his captain. He's, our, he's one of our best players. He's definitely not anywhere near one of the best players in the league. No, not for me. Um, Les has said, hi, Sava, you should be a Sky Sports presenter. <laughs> uh, love to see you hosting Last Word on Spurs. And knows he's reached a roadblock. We played some great stuff under Mourinho and Conte, then declined. Look, I think you can only do so much with what you've got. Uh, uh, to, to kick on from anything, I keep saying this, I've said this for years, we get really carried away. We get really carried away when we play some decent football. Doing it consistently week in, week out, to do that, you've got to have quality. So I, I completely agree with you. Um, Jamie, as a big up Sava, watching you from work. Anyway, the optimism from the poll, 11% actually expect us to win. Um, so if we look at the poll, 254 votes, 11% of that 254 have said that we're going to be the champions. So what's that? So it's about 26 people off the top of my head have said that we're going to win the league. 8% have said second or third. 57% have said fourth and 24% have said fifth. 
or below. There's still time to vote in that poll. So please do. Um, anyway, not sure how to feel about the result. Listen, it's a win. That's what I'll say about it. That's how to feel about it. It was a win. Um, um, Sabbath, there's some really good games uh, this week. Would you do a watch along for some of them? Yeah. I mean, look, what have we got football wise this week? Uh, yeah, we've got Champions League games. We can do some Champions League games tomorrow night. Um, and then we've got Champions League Wednesday night. We can do some for them as well. So yeah, why not? We can we can absolutely uh, we can absolutely do some watch alongs. It's no problem at all, um, as long as people want to watch them. Um, uh, Skirt says, "Sava, I also see what you mean that we are playing on the transition these last few games. Yes, we win the ball back up high, but we don't seem to control the games like we did in the opening ten games. Yeah, I think a lot of that is teams. I think teams will work out how we play and. Uh, the problem is there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of players that aren't quite good enough to control games. The top teams have those players. So we need that for me. Um, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Too many think with their hearts, not their heads. I don't know how anyone thinks we're the most entertaining. I mean, when I look at it, look at the number of goals we've conceded compared to, I mean, e even when you compare it, look, you know, Arsenal have let in 22, City 25, Liverpool 23, even Villa 32, Man United 33. We've let in 36 goals. Uh, for me, that, listen, it is what it is. Um, uh, Kai, big up to, sorry, Cal 1X has said, big up Savin from an Arsenal fan. I feel Spurs secured top four already. Look, we, we could do. Um, the next few games are going to be very telling as to where we finish. Uh, Barry just came in saying, leave Royal alone. I, I, look, look, he's got to go. Um, he's got to go. He's got to go. Uh, come on. Yeah, 50 likes off of 200. Come on, people. We should have been on 200 likes ages ago. And do keep smashing that subscribe button. We're five subscribers away from today's target. So please, if you haven't already, do smash that. Um, Dr. Tottenham has said, best player in the league, De Bruyne. For me, um, the, the best player in the league is Rodri, closely followed by De Bruyne. Uh, but I, I don't think Sonny is anywhere near it for me, if I'm brutally honest. Um, Stanley Kush has said, I do like how Sonny fired the crowd and team up Saturday. It was needed, I can't lie. Yeah, absolutely. That's his job. He's captain. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, he's... he's uh, He's he's the captain. It's his job. Um, Bill has said 11%. He said 26 people are Australian. Um, oh, I do I do love those people that think we're winning the league title. They are, uh, of course, welcome to their opinion, but I still can't believe after 24 games, people still think we're winning it. Uh, big up, Daniel Harris. He said, man, you're catching up. I honestly think we're closer to United in terms of quality than we are to Arsenal right now. Look, as long as we keep winning... That's the main thing. But I, I I just don't think we've played well. And I'm not sure how sustainable it is to keep not playing well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Alex has said, what I would be worried about if I was a Spurs fan is that Anne seems to have gone away from his principles from earlier in the season, going from controlling games back to counter-attacking. Yeah, I've said it. I've noticed it in the last month or so. Everything we're seeming to do is on the transition rather than controlled and with a good tempo. Um but we'll see. Look, let's see what happens against Wolves. No offence, Wolves are a good team. We should be beating Wolves at White Hart Lane. I'd like to see a game as well where it's not panic until the last minute. Um, Liston has said, I'd like to get us an easy victory where we cruise through the game. Hasn't happened since Newcastle. Completely agree with you. Aditya said, who in your opinion is the most ent entertaining? I would say the three teams above us are all more entertaining than we are um, for a start. All three of them are more entertaining than we are. I think we have moments, and there's a difference between having moments. Um, oh, oh, I'm just feeling like I might just block this guy. I see a clear again agenda against squad players. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Skur says, Sav, what would you say is the most worrying aspect of the last couple of games? Um, the sloppiness on the ball. The sloppiness on the ball. I think the problem is we try to do everything. I've said this all year. I've talked about this loads with Sean. On, on his show, we try to do everything at a hundred miles per hour. And the problem is when you do that, you're going to give the ball away a lot. And um, when I look at the other clubs, they don't try and do everything at hundred miles per hour. When Arsenal and City play, it's, it's a lot more considered. They pick and choose their moments. Um, but Hey, uh, 
That's just me. Musings of a football fan and said, hey, Sava, and still learning, still hasn't got the squad he wants. We should want more, yes, but we need to give our heads a wobble and remember downward spiral we're in. Listen, that's my point, Musings. My point is it's the people that are getting carried away saying we should be better. uh, For me, I think think we're a good team. I think we're a good team who probably are where they should be at the moment. Um, Um... Lynn has said, Sava, would you agree that Ange came into the Premier League and your team was a breath of fresh air? However, would you agree that Ange had to, has had to adapt and that is where you are suffering a little? Listen, we were a breath of fresh air. Um, I think it was a breath of fresh air more, it was heightened more because of how poor we were to watch under Antonio Conte. But I do think the football isn't there anymore. We haven't seen that really good football for a long, long time. Now, that's kind of coincided with a lot of the players coming back. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, no. I, I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant, man. I know what you meant. Um, uh, but big up, big up, big up. Um, Kay Emerson, because we didn't have our full squads. I don't know what that's in relation to. Uh, is that in relation to the goals we conceded? You, Liverpool have played about half their back four all season. They still only conceded, what, 23 goals? Let's have a look. Liverpool have conceded... 23 goals and they've been missing half their back four all season. Um, I, I, I don't see, I, no, I'm not, I'm not hearing that. I'm afraid not hearing that. Um, uh, Mum spaghetti. I said, I'm Australian. I rate Ange, but the Scottish league was his level. His style reminds me of Bielsa ball. Naive at times, not the man to take Spurs forward long-term. Well, look, we'll, we'll, we'll see, right. Um, in terms of taking us forward, I, I guess it, it depends on what that means to each fan. Um, you know, as a bunch of fans in the last decade or so, we've seen our team finish second. We've seen our team in Champions League finals, cup finals. And just got to get to that level first before I start talking about him being the man. Um, uh, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Cam said, none of the three teams above us have managed to beat us. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. They're all above us in the table. <laughs> so, um, they're all above us in the table. Uh, so I, I, I'm sure they really, really won't care. Uh, Paul Connor has said, um, our squad depth has always been a major problem for years. We had a lot of injury and suspensions recently. A lot of key players are starting to come back. We seriously need some quality depth. The thing is, I think we've looked worse since the... I know this sounds strange, but I feel like the last couple of games with all the players back, we look almost worse. Almost like there's an arrogance that the players are back now, so we're automatically be good to watch. Um, Phil P said, what's more entertaining than shipping loads of goals at the back and scoring 96th minute winners? Not good to the Spurs supporters' blood pressure and definitely not controlling games. But hey, well, I suppose it depends how you define most exciting, right? It, I suppose it depends how you define it. Um, Beyond 72 has said, so if the 11% are right, we're beating Newcastle and Liverpool away and City and Arsenal at home in April with Ange Ball. It's a lovely fault. Yeah, listen, I'm watching us struggle to draw with Everton and struggle to beat Brighton. So I'm worried about what those better teams are going to do when we play them next. Uh, but I am also worried that there's over 300 in here and only 167 likes. Come on, people. Surely we can get that to 200 likes, can we? And we can get a couple more subscribers. Um... Daniel Harris has said, laugh aloud, does anyone still think we're going to smash teams? If we beat Wolves, it's by one goal after being on the back foot. I don't trust us anymore. You can guarantee we'll concede at least once. Look, I think this is the key thing. I've said this, Daniel, you've watched me long enough to know. Every show we do, people start talking about 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. It never happens. And then the next game, people still go, I think we're going to win this one, 4-0, 5-0. And then at some point, they'll be right. (laughs) At some point, they'll be right when we do win like that. Um, uh, AF in also, we conceded 63 goals last season, on track for 57 this year. Luckily, we're on track to score 81. Look, yeah, look, it's going to be better than last year. That's that's all that matters at this stage, right? That's all that matters. Um, Lynn said, I've seen Ange play in Melbourne and his team was on the same level as the Derby level. So the gap is huge from that team to Celtic. And then the gap is huge again between Celtic and Spurs. Yeah, listen, that's why that's why we need time to see how good this guy is. Listen, I like Ange. I've got no problem with Ange at all. But, you know, I, I can't take what he's done winning with, with lower level clubs and just say, oh, he's definitely going to win here. He, he, no, he's not had to overcome a Man City or a Liverpool before, has he? Um, 
Um, Skirt said, do you think we are just off of it? Being good on the ball, or do you think and just tinkering? I don't know. We've been off of it for a long time on the ball lately. I don't know. But listen, as long as we keep picking up points, I suppose that's all that matters in the long run. Um, I just don't know how sustainable that is. Um, so I am trying to get to as many comments as I can. So please bear with me. Uh, Tiger299 said, we need to remember that this is the long-term project. Getting into champ this year would be a terrific success. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard the term long-term project for the last 23 years. So I take that with a pinch of salt. I understand what you mean. But um, if, if part of that long-term project is buying top players in the summer, I'm all for it. But we'll wait and see. Um, Brett said, Sava, do you think we need to stop conceding so many goals, considering how good our defence is? Uh, I don't think our defence is as good as people think it is. Um, look, I think we've got some good defenders, but I do think we go well overboard about it. And, and, and even since Van der Ven and Romero have come back, we're conceding way too many goals every game. We're conceding w way too many goals every game. Uh, let's have a look. Hang on. Uh, where are we? Premier League. One second. Um, if if you look if you look at the top four in the last five games, right? Man City have conceded four, Arsenal four, Liverpool six, Spurs eight. So again, even with Van der Ven and Romero back for all those games, even with Benton Core in there and Madison in there for all those games, it's it's we're still conceding far too many goals for me. Um, far too many for me. Uh, Bill, I said, I'll be honest, I want the owners out. So the football is secondary to me, really. I've seen this all before. Uh, listen, I, I think with regards to the owners, um, it's one of those things, isn't it, where I think once bitten twice as shy, a lot of people have seen where we are before. And people get excited and we're going to kick on and we're going to win leagues. Um, time, time will tell, right? But for me, I don't trust them until I see something different to what we've done before. I need to see something different at the moment. I haven't seen it. So we'll, we'll wait until we see it. Um, video complete, Mrs. Harry Kane. Yeah, listen, Harry Kane's a top footballer. Um, Philly has said, why does Ange ball remind me of Conte ball just on the front foot? Maybe it's just the players. I'll let people in the chat take that one. Um, Nolan says, Sava, I think Ange took too long to bring Son on. Listen, we don't know what Son's fitness levels were like. We don't know if he was carrying a knock, what he was capable of, but that he came on and, and it was a good sub, wasn't it? Um, Fiona said, I think the team needs some time to gel again. I think we're better than we saw on Saturday. Y yeah, I mean, the, the problem is I hear this every week that we're better than we saw, we're better than we saw and and I don't know. I think, I think again, I think, I think we, we look very good on the counter attack. Um, but Hey, that's just for me. Um, stack row. I said, we're fine. We're finding third or fourth. I reckon. I feel like United Arsenal still have some bottling left in them. Um, well, Arsenal are winning games, Arsenal are winning games and winning them convincingly at the moment. So credit where it's due to them. Uh, CB has said, everyone has injuries and suspensions. You never have a full squad available. Agreed. Arsenal have Timber, Tommy Asu, Party, Vieira, Smith Rowe, and Jesus Smith. I, CB, I completely agree with you. It's why I've never jumped on this bandwagon of players being missing. Loads of clubs have missed players all season. All season. I mean, if we're going to do that, look at Man United, Newcastle, and Chelsea's injury list. It's horrific. But we all laugh at what they do. So, um, um, Itro has said, we're in a tough predicament. The Sun is our best striker and left winger. Due to Richie's goal assist, he'll always get a start. I believe our best team is Werner, Sun, Kulu, front three. I'd bench Scarlett over Richie. Look, I, I think you're right. Sun is our best left winger and our best striker. But, um, hey, listen, uh, listen, that's the squad they put together, right? I, I, I really didn't understand the signing of um, um, of Timo Werner. I'm sorry, I didn't. People can have a go at me. He'll probably get a couple of assists against bad teams. He did against Brentford. I expect him to against Wolves. Um, but whenever we've played anyone half decent, I've not noticed him really doing anything. Uh, but hey, that's just me. Uh, big up to uh, to Jayanta, who is in here from Victoria, Australia. Great, exciting games. Can't wait to see those players smash all other Premier League teams. And is a winner, and he will win the Premier League as well, just a matter of time. I mean, that's a really upbeat comment. Big up to you. Um, Jayanta, give me a year. Which year is... Poster Coglu winning a Premier League title with Tottenham Hotspurs. Um, 
Daniel Harris has said, we're not off of anything. This is our level. We know this because you can count on the number of games we've looked genuinely impressive on one hand. I, I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree with you. Um, Michael said, good teams learn how to win ugly. History will not remember the flaws. Yes, but the, the, when people use this, they you, you've used this in the wrong term. When we talk about good teams learn how to win ugly, what we're talking about is if Man City have an off day, can they still win playing badly? We're not talking about playing badly week in, week out and winning. Uh, there's a huge difference. Um, CB has said, with Spurs having good youngsters coming through, do you think there's a benefit to getting Europa League instead of Champions League? Some claim the Europa League may came. I mean, I, I don't know. Everyone keeps saying we've got good youngsters coming through and we don't see them. So I, I, I really don't know. Um, also, I don't think if you get into the European... Um, um, you know, I don't, I, I don't think you can play all of the kids in the in the in Europe because if you get to Europe, you've got to make a statement in it, right? Um, hey, that's just me. I, I don't know. He, he, Ange doesn't look like he wants to play the kids anyway. So, um, to be fair, previous managers were signed to 12, 18 month contracts. Ange is on a long term project pro, project in that sense. Um, uh, I, I mean, yeah, we'll keep doing this. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep. Let's keep saying these things. You've got to remember, some of us have seen this for the last 20, 23, 24 years. So it's not new. It's not new. Um, uh, uh, Udogi is still raw and there's a lot to improve on. Yeah, listen, I like Udogi, uh, but I do think that, again, he's another one. People started saying he's the best left back in the league and not for me. Nowhere near it. There's a lot to go on. A lot, a lot for him to pr improve on. Um AF in Oz said, I think the significance of Champions League for us is solely the extra income, which means we can potentially spend more. I agree with you. Um, I agree with you. Dr. Tottenham has said, this summer will tell us everything we need to know about Enoch. Listen, I know what I know about Enoch in the last 23, 24 years. So, but yes, I hear what, you, what you're saying. Every year, though, is uh, Dr. Tottenham, we hear this, don't we? Every year it's this summer's important, this summer, this summer. Um, it's interesting that the top three have all had managers over six years. They all have squads that are entirely theirs with their philosophy embedded. Half our 25-man squad are remnants of the old guard. Itro, which is why when people just say things like, we're going to win a league next year, why would we suddenly just win a league next year? Uh, I think Arteta's been there, what, four and a half years now. Pep and Klopp have been there, what, eight, nine years, whatever it is. They've been there seven, eight years. Um, yeah, I, I, listen, I agree. You Time. Time is everything. But those managers were allowed to build the squad they wanted. Um, Will Spurs. Um, Lynn has said that Celtic Ange had only two other clubs to compete with, but now he has come to the Premier League. There's much more diff different styles and lots more teams to find a plan B, etc. I agree. I completely agree with you. Um, Stanley Kush said, I'm hoping an 18 million offer comes in for Romero. I can't lie. I take it. He has plateaued. I mean, I'd take 80 million for him, for sure. For sure, I'd take 80 million. Um, big up Serge Aurier, player, captain, AFCON winner. Big up, yeah, fair play to Serge Aurier winning the African Cup of Nations yesterday with the Ivory Coast. And we're going to go for another five minutes. So can I please ask for one big push towards the last five minutes of the show? Smash the like button. We're 15, 14 likes off of 200. And let's get, we're four subscribers away. Four subscribers away from today's total. So if we get four more people to subscribe and 14 more likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, to, 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 to stack rows is seven. I'm not saying you're negative in general, but you seem more positive. I don't think, I don't, my opinion hasn't changed on anything though. I think what it was before, you know what's happened, stack row? People before didn't like my opinion because we were closer to the top of the table and I said that this would happen. That's what they didn't like. But when we were two points off the top and I was saying we won't win the league, oh, you're negative. I'm not negative. You could just see we weren't good enough. So I don't think it is. I think what's happened, Stacro, is that those super ultra positive people are actually coming a little bit down to, to reality rather than me being more positive. I, anyone who watches me week in, week out or day in, day out knows my opinion has not changed on anything. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Um um, to be fair, we've had the luxury of almost every game that gives us a platform to play. Well, yeah, of course, of course. But you know, some clubs have injuries in different positions. That's why you build squads, right? Uh 16 won't score one goal. He's got to score a goal sooner or later, hasn't he? I mean, if 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 you look at him, 
I don't know. I just, I just feel like it was another, I don't know. It just five games, no goals. He doesn't, the thing is as well, he doesn't look dangerous, does he? He doesn't ever look like scoring a goal. If we're going to be completely honest. Um, Ratish said, pick up Sava, another good three points for Spurs. Let's continue to take one game at a time and not worry about our rivals. I'm not worried about our rivals. It's in our hands to finish fourth. I'm not worried about our rivals. Um, and yeah, I agreed. The problem is if you've got Werner and Kulu playing, we just become very, very predictable on the wings. And notice the moment sun comes on, you get you get a bit of quality, something different happens. Uh Tiger said, as this is the year of the Dragashin, we need to play him. Uh, well, yeah, we've not seen him yet. Be interesting to see when we actually get to see him start a game. Michael said, the team's still in the works. Absolutely. Quality depth is still needed to compete. Yeah, as I've said a number of times, Michael, I think we're miles off competing for anything serious. Uh, I know people want to think that's negative, but listen, when I start seeing a squad that resembles Liverpool's or City's, I might start to be convinced that we're going to challenge, but not yet. Um, Lynn has said, I don't know if you would agree that if you make the Champions League, then how much money would Levy prepare to spend to equip for the Champions League? And could you see Ange being the ones to take you there? Um, look, the, the, the Levy question is the question that we talk about every year, Lynn. Um, the Levy question is, you know, um, are we going to go and buy the players needed to compete for, for the illustrious trophies? Uh, we've never seen it. Uh, I doubt we'll see it this year, but let's let's hope we do. Um, like in the summer, you know, we signed three good players in Vicario, Madison and Van der Ven. And then it, the quality drops off. Then then you're looking at then you're looking at Kulu, Solomon, Brennan Johnson, Valise, Phillips. It's like you've bought some that are there and you go brilliant. And then we buy loads that are down there. And for me, you don't see the cities and Liverpool's doing that. They don't do that. So for me, we'll see. Right. We'll see. Um, Simon D, big up to you. I said, has Ange been found out now he's playing against elite managers? All his career has been against lower level opponents. So he got away with his tactics. Um, look, we're winning games. We're not, he's not losing games, but we'll see. I think, I think, you know, time will tell over the next couple of years. We'll see. Does he adapt? Does he, does he bend? Does he shape to compete with those clubs? Does he get the players he wants? We'll see. Um, big up to Daryl. How you doing, mate? I said, we're now at the quality over quantity stage. Levy has no hiding place. Everything is in place. Yeah, we've heard that a few times before, Daryl, down the line. And we know what he does. So we'll see. Um, Stack Rowe. I said, when do people start disliking Romero? I, don't, I haven't seen anyone say they dislike Romero. Um, you, you put in words that haven't been used. Like, who said they disliked him? Um, I think that I think if you're getting 80 million, I think you can definitely buy better than him for 80 million. That's a difference to disliking him. Um, Jay Anta said, Ange is a 55% win rate with Spurs. That is with the players that, that were already there. The percentage is only below when he was at Celtic that was 73. So we've got to trust the man. I don't, I, I don't think anyone's not trusting him. I think it's, as we said, it's the owners and it's the, it's the players that we buy. Um, when you say with the players that were already there, um, I mean, yes, but when you look at it, the goalkeeper is new, the left back is new, the centre half is new, the playmaker is new, the two wingers are his. Um, Papa Sars basically, all right, Papa Sars was already there, but wasn't playing before. So, you know, it's not like it's the same 11 as last season. Um, Da, 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 da. Philly, I said, while people come down to earth for a bump, my opinion never changed on Tottenham with these owners in charge. We will win nothing with these people here. Maybe a league cup somewhere down the line. But listen, I agree with you. Uh, yeah, Mickey van der Ven is, is, is quality. He's the best defender at the club for me by a mile. Um, Brett, I said, to be fair, Savvy, you've been consistent all season. Brett, this is what makes me laugh. So when people say, oh, you're more positive, I haven't changed. Like, my opinion has not changed one bit on Spurs, on, on players, on manager, on City, on Liverpool, on Arsenal. My opinion hasn't changed on it. Um, I think it's just, you know, I think what happened was when after 10 games, I was saying we won't win the league and people were going, oh, let people dream and all of this nonsense. Cool. But listen, I think we're seeing now where we are. This is what we are. I think we're a fourth, fifth, sixth place team. We're doing well. Um, but I don't go overboard about it. For me, the biggest challenge is going to be what do we do next year? 
Um, uh, 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 Sunny Kush said, Romero is an asset. I'm not emotionally attached to him. If money comes in for him, a Madrid type team, I take it. Romero would happily go, I reckon. Look, I, I, listen, I'm not emotionally attached to any of them. If players, if, if, if big money comes in and Spurs are going to spend it wisely, then for sure. For, for me, I think there's loads of good centre backs around the world. Um, you know, look at Mickey van der Ven. Just need to scout. Just need to scout. Uh, Nolan has said Dra Dragasheen needs game time to prove himself. I think he's really good. I've been begging for us to go through it at the back and the two wing backs up and down the wings. Suma and Sar inside. Matters feeding the centre forwards. Listen, I think that could work. I just don't think he's going to do it, my friend. I really, really don't. Um, um, Bill said, at Jayanta, are you from Australia? If so, I respectfully say you don't know Tottenham Hotspur. I think this is the difference, right? I think this is the thing. I think lots of people who are new Spurs fans, nothing wrong with it. Welcome to supporting Spurs. But suddenly don't realise who the owners are. They just think that Ange can make all the difference. You've got to have the owners. You've got to have the structure in place. Um, the biggest achievement this season is Ange lasting a full season. First time since Potch we had manager stability. I agree with you. Completely agree with you. Uh, good morning, Chris. How are we doing, brother? I said, stating the obvious, Neto and Rafinha walk into this team. Wingers, wingers, wingers. I need to see a less con condensed defence when we attack. Those wingers will go outside. I agree. I completely agree with you. You know I do. You know I do. Um, Andy Bays said, Man City will be after Van der Ven. He definitely looks like he'd be a perfect um, Pep Guardiola player, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, John Bird said, Where we finish depends on how much Levy opens up the wallet. Will he spend if we don't get full fifth? I, I, I don't know. I mean, he always spends some money, but. Um, you know, uh, Stanley Kush said, Sava just keeps it real. I don't always agree, but he is consistent. I, I do try and be consistent. For me, there's far too many fans and YouTubers that are all over the place. One minute we're amazing. One minute we're crap. One minute this player's crap. The next minute he's great. Yeah, I, I, can't, I haven't got time for all that. Um, Bill said, hasn't Lingard moved to South Korea? Sod it. I'm supporting his team because he's English and I'm going to tell all the Koreans to believe in Jesse. <laughs> Um, De Bruyne said Tottenham is in the title race. De Bruyne can say whatever he wants, but if Man City win their game in hand, we're eight points behind them. I'm, I'm not sure that's really a title race, is it? Um, um, Lena said, I know Madison is a very good player. However, when he came from Norwich to Leicester, he was great. Unfortunately, since then, his injuries are setting back. And also the elite clubs know his play now. Well, listen, all, all I care about is if he keeps scoring goals and assisting for Tottenham Hotspur. Really good player, but definitely need him. Uh, guys and girls, I am going to leave it there. Big up to everybody who smashed that like button to get it to 204. Uh, we, we are four subscribers away from hitting today's target. So if you could, on your way out, smash the subscribe button that is now pinned in the chat. And it is right here. Look, you can see this. Yeah. Please smash that button. Um, I will do a watch along for uh, Crystal Palace versus Chelsea tonight. So join me at quarter to eight for that. Um, and we can just have more general football chat. Much love. Uh, take care. And as always, come on, you Spurs. <laughs>